Good afternoon and welcome back to the Mr. Travel On Kitchen. It's been a while since we've been here, but, well, I thought today I'd make a special lunch for Mrs. Travel On. Now, some time ago, I did a video where I tried some Tato crisps from Ireland and, well, the comments section went mad because I tried the wrong flavour. I went for a salt and vinegar and everybody messaged me and says, no, 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 no you need to try Tato's Cheese and Onion Crisps. I did another video where I tried some Tato's Cheese and Onion Crisps and the comment section went mad again saying, no, 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 no. You now need to try some Northern Ireland Cheese and Onion Crisps because they are a lot different. Thankfully, and for those of you new to the channel, I'm actually based in Lanzarote, the Canary Islands, so it's quite difficult for me to get things over here. Audrey bought me over, well, a pack of Northern Ireland Tato's Cheese and Onion Crisps. Now there's a story behind this and I'll tell you as we go on. So today's lunch from the Travel On Kitchen because, well, I've been told I have to try cheese and onion Tato crisp sandwiches. Well, that is what lunch is gonna be today. We're gonna try cheese and onion from Ireland and cheese and onion from Northern Ireland. No fighting in the comments. I'm gonna make some sandwiches and we're gonna have cheese and onion sandwiches. What a fantastic lunch. Mrs. Travelon must be so excited. So come on, let's get stuck in to some Tato crisp sandwiches. Let's go. Right then, ingredients couldn't be simpler, could it? It's bread, it's butter, and it's Tato's cheese and onion. But here in the Canary Islands, well, the bread is a little bit different. Now we do have what essentially was an English supermarket or a British supermarket. But since Brexit, well, it's almost become an Irish supermarket because they sell all the Irish products in there because it's easier to get over these days. Now I did go in there and have a look for some Brennan's bread. I wanted to keep it completely Irish, but they only had Brennan's bagels. And I didn't want to offend anybody by using Warburton's bread or an English brand. So we've gone for the Spanish brand of bread, Bimbo. <laughs> Believe it or not, the Spanish brand of bread is called Bimbo. So we're gonna use Bimbo bread and, and here in Spain, and I need you lot to tell me if it's the same as back home, we get lots of fresh bread here and we get this machine which cuts it all for you. So you go into the supermarket, you pick your beautiful fresh soft loaf up and you put it in the machine, select number one, two, three, thick slice, medium slice or thin slice, and it cuts it. So we're also using some fresh bread as well. Now, as Irish butter goes, well, I could have got the Kerrygold butter, but you know, I'm the tightest man on the internet. So there was no way in the world I was paying 4 50 for some Irish butter. So I got the Spanish version of Irish butter. It's called De Irlanda, <laughs> but it says there, it's butter from Ireland with salt. So we're gonna use that. I reckon it'll be just the same. So it's De Irlanda butter, bimbo Spanish bread, and freshly cut baked bread from the island of Lanzarote. Right, so let's get started. We shall go for the two different pieces of bread, fresh bread and bimbo bread. And of course, the Irish butter. Now I have had it out in room temperature to melt because it was in the fridge, so it's nice and soft. And just for the video, I didn't want to be messing around. Now, question to you. Are you a spreader with a knife? And when it's soft, it does go on quite nicely. Or sometimes I like to use a spoon. Comments, please. I think a spoon actually spreads it a lot easier, especially if it's a little bit tough or it's in the fridge. So I sometimes use a spoon to butter my bread. <laughs> Each to their own, what do you reckon? So bread buttered, and that butter actually tastes really nice. So let's get the Tato's on the go. We've got the Irish Tato crisps. Now the reason I made the mistake in not trying cheese and onion was because I tried this packet here, which is salt and vinegar. And I thought these were actually ready salted, because as an Englishman, 
a red packet would be ready salted crisp. And that's similar here in Spain as well. But the Tato's Northern Irish crisps are actually in a yellow packet. So which one do you think looks more cheese and oniony? Well, apparently they taste completely different as well. So first of all, I'm going to give them a little bit of a taste test to see if I can actually taste the difference between Tato's Northern Ireland and Tato's Ireland. And we'll start with Ireland. They certainly taste cheese and oniony, but let's see if there's a difference with the Northern Ireland one. Do you know what? There is actually a difference. The red packet, the Irish ones, they don't taste stronger, but they certainly taste a little bit different. I can't quite put my finger on it. It's not more of a taste. It's not less of a taste, but there is certainly a difference in taste. Crunch-wise and consistency, well, the ones from Ireland seem to have a different color as well. The ones from Northern Ireland seem to be very light. Anyway, let's get on with the cheese and onion butties. <laughs> Simple as, I'm not gonna mess about. We're going straight in. And these small packets are never enough for one sandwich, are they? We're gonna put the Irish potatoes, the red packet, on the fresh crusty bread so we can tell the difference. And we're going to go for the Northern Ireland ones on the bimbo bread, which is more traditional bread that you would get back home. Now, you've always got to have two packets, haven't you? I don't know about you with a crisp sandwich. You've got to have two packets. One packet is just not enough. It's not going to cut it. You always have to have your crisp sandwich with one small packet and then empty another packet on the side. We might try it with another flavour, I don't know. I don't think I can go full on cheese and onion. Cheese and onion is not my favourite crisp flavour. My favourite has to be salt and vinegar, whether it be any brand or prawn cocktail. What's your favourite crisp? Let me know in the comments. And also, what do you call them? Crisp sandwiches? Crisp butties? Crisp baps? Crisp rolls? What do you call them? I bet there's quite a few different things that people call this. But let's get this crusty bread on here, look. Listen to this. Oh, how satisfying is that? So that was the Irish one. Did you hear the crisp on that? Let's try the Northern Irish one. Ready? Yes, yes, yes. Now they've got to be cut. I always go straight down the middle, especially because this is only a small bread look. Straight down the middle so you can see the inside look. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that looks nice. And then sometimes with the more square bread, and I'm assuming a Brennan's bread would be quite square, I would therefore cut it at an angle so that it can be displayed properly on a plate. So let me get these made so there's enough for everybody and then I'll show you plating up. Right then, so we've done the cheese and onion crisps. I am definitely gonna be serving on the side salt and vinegar because they are my favorite, but we've also got smoky bacon and from Northern Ireland, we've also got spring onion as well. I tell you what, there's a huge selection, isn't there? <laughs> you are spoilt for choice in Ireland of Tato's crisps, I mean, what is your favorite flavor? Let me know in the comments. So I am actually going to just finish off with a little bit of a salt and vinegar butty or a salt and vinegar sandwich. <sighs> look at that. Oh, look at that. Mm. And we'll go for a spring onion on the crusty bread as well. Now I have tried to not cross contaminate on here. As you know, the Travel On Kitchen abides by all rules of kitchens and um, well I should really have used two chopping boards shouldn't I as not to cross contaminate <laughs> but the spring onion are actually really nice I am going to go as far as to say in my little taste test taste wise they're both fantastic however I do find the Irish ones a little bit more crispier that doesn't mean they're better by any means because I think the Northern Ireland ones are a little bit more lighter hmm. in both color and consistency there you go. I'm like a real chef, aren't I? Once again, I just want you to listen to that. Oh, heaven. I think they call this food corn, no? Food corn with a P. And we're actually just gonna serve them on a plate, like party food, because we are here in Spain, and this is how they serve things. They call it tapas. <laughs> they serve it all on one plate and you help yourselves. And that is how we're gonna do it. So let's get lunch served and let's see what the family think of this extraordinary lunch I'm about to serve for them. They are gonna be blown away. Right then, come on, let's get this served. Right, are you two ready for this? This is gonna be the poshest lunch I've ever made, Alfie, and your favorite. Mrs. Travelon, look. Yeah. There you go, you take that. 
and we've got a selection of Tato crisps as well. It's a Tato lunch. You ready? Right, come on, let's dig in. Right then, so I'm gonna to explain to these two the rules. The rules of the game are, the ones with the crusty fresh bread are Tato's Island. The ones in the normal packet bread are Tato's Nor Northern Island, okay? They're both cheese and onion. I have a salt and vinegar one here, which I'm just gonna dive into because I love salt and vinegar. That is delicious. Mm. I think that's gonna be better than a cheese and onion one but you lot will probably tell me different. So that's it, dig in, and you need to let me know which one you prefer. Now let me try, all you can hear is crunching. Now let me try the cheese and onion, Northern Ireland one. Actually, that is really nice. I can see why you lot go crazy for it. So let's try the Irish one. There's definitely a difference, 100% a difference, but I can't actually tell you what it is. How many sandwiches did you just eat then? Just one, was it, crust, was it crusty bread or soft bread? No. So that was the Northern Ireland one. What did you think? Good. Nice. Mrs. Travelon has got one of each, so she's on the soft one though, so that's the Northern yeah. Ireland one. Have you tried the other one? No, not So yet. try the other one now. Okay. Right, tell me if you can tell the difference between the Northern Ireland one, trying to eat like a lady. Different taste? Mm. Yeah, that, the other one was more stronger. Okay, and this one's going for the Irish one. Go on, easy expert. Does that taste any different at all? <laughs> <Go on. laughs> yeah. You will just eat anything, won't you? You don't care. Get it down, you kidder. Get it down, yeah. So Mrs. Travelon thinks the Northern Ireland cheese and onion crisps are a little bit stronger. Again, you can try it just out the packet look. That's a Northern Ireland one. That's an Ireland one. There is definitely a taste. You try that. Right, and so try the actual crisp rather than the bread. So that's a Northern Ireland one in a yellow packet. Now try the Ireland one, yeah. I think I prefer. You can't tell the difference, can you? Do you know what? Now, now they taste stronger. <laughs> <laughs> well, for me, I'm sticking with salt and vinegar as my favorite go-to crisp, whether it be Tato's, Walker's, Blaze. I love a bit of salt and vinegar, but my top, top one is prawn cocktail. You cannot beat a prawn cocktail crisp sandwich. But today, we haven't got any. So Mrs. Travelon has said that her favorite Tato crisp is the smoky bacon, the orange pack. Actually, I'm not a smoky bacon fan, but they are absolutely delicious. So we're gonna get these crisp sandwiches down us, and this video has took quite a long time because Audrey actually came over on holiday and bought me a big packet of Northern Ireland Tato's. So that was about two months ago. Now I hid these crisps in the shoe cupboard. Believe it or not, I hid it where you put your shoes on, right in the corner where nobody would ever find them. And guess what? Somebody found them. That's right. This one found them and ate every packet. Now he's pointing at Mrs. Travelon and said that Mrs. Travelon gave them to him as a snack and she knew nothing about it. But the question is whether it was you or Mrs. Travelon, you ate them, didn't you? All of them, every single packet. Well, not every single one. And Mrs. Travelon, well, she didn't put two and two together and wondered why crisps were in the shoe cupboard. I mean, you're not going out walking with it. So thankfully, Audrey posted some out to a UK address. Mrs. Travelon was in the UK and brought them over. So these crisps have literally been on a journey. So I hope that you enjoy this video. Big thanks to Audrey for sorting out the crisps. And a big thanks to all my followers from Ireland and Northern Ireland. I hope you enjoyed the Tato's Crisp video today. There's going to be more from the Travel On Kitchen. Mr. Travel On is going to get his cooking hat on. So let me know what you want to see. What do you want to see me cooking? I'm not a chef, but I'll give anything a go. And you know me, I'll eat anything as well. So from me, Mr. Travel On, it's goodbye. And from these two, bye. Bye. I'll see you for the next edition of Travel On Tastes. See you later.